Hi there, I'm Alex D. Today I'm doing an AA12. Well, uh, we are going to convert the um, assault rifle animations to uh, a shotgun. We did something similar the previous time, except we united uh, two animations uh, into one. And uh, this time we are going to do the opposite. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, since uh, the world model of the model Wi-Fi 2, a and uh, pre pretty much every single world model in that game is ugly AF. I mean, well, aside from the opposite, um, obvious. Um, uh, low poliness and uh, whatnot. It's also twisted in a weird way. I mean, uh, look how uh, slim the trigger guard uh, is uh, on the world model compared to the view model and, well, the positioning of uh, the magazine and the ejection port. I think that's pretty much obvious why I don't uh, usually use them. Well, unless I'm trying to look how they look up front on the deleted faces like this. You don't see anything Yeah, You can see right through and there is no uh, bore in there and it's even textured. So, uh, we can uh, do this uh, in several different ways. Well, in this case, it's obviously how much it's an an octagon, yeah. And uh, well, this is not. This is much. Well, not much, but still, it's has uh, a higher poly count. Well, I guess for this one, I'll. <laughs> I don't know. I can, I think, one, two, three. There's one, two, nah, I can't. Well, I'll just uh, demonstrate what we can do about that. We can, uh, well, that's what we sometimes uh, want to do is uh, look uh, how it. Uh, what part of the texture is used so we are going to see the UVW map on our app let's select a couple of polygons that we are most interested in these ones and uh, open UV editor and see what exactly uh -huh. So uh, this part, and that's just a gray texture, naturally. It's completely void of any details, and uh, we can ignore that, actually. <laughs> yeah, but there's uh, our bore. It's textured, amazingly detailed and all. Uh, so let's just collapse that. Okay, this selected. Um, let's try a, a bit welding with the bore. Let's just delete everything except this part. And uh, uh, hide and select it. Attach. Okay. Now, let's move that all, all over there. And do some magic, I guess. Okay, it's much smaller, but it isn't a problem really. For now, uh, we are going to weld some vertices. We are going to make this one element. I have already told why is this a good thing. Uh, well, target, and we'll just drag uh, vertices over there. Over there. 
well we'll have a bit of a hole in there we'll fix that later we'll just weld what we have this octagonal piece of crap yeah now what we have is this um, it's one smoothing group we're gonna fix that I'm gonna fix that and it's fixed now but we still have some holes in there we don't want that to occur it's gonna be obvious if you're going to stare down the barrel in the game which is as sensible as it sounds but it's rather noticeable I must say so we'll just create a couple of polygons yeah uh, poly po 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 polygons create now we can see our vertices again and let's just press on one of them another third one and finish over here and we have created a polygon mm, uh, we don't have a hole over there any anymore <laughs> now uh, if you do it counterclockwise it's going to be just fine but if you do it clockwise it's uh, going to be inside out it's easily fixed by but um, as you can see it's dark that means uh, its normals are facing the other way uh, let's just select create okay uh, uh, the lighting over here is fine but in there it's actually textured over there and not here uh, normals uh, flip normal mode if we have polygon selected it will uh, flip only a single polygon we click on like this yeah uh, naturally we can flip entire elements inside out like this or we can select a couple of uh, polys and uh, flip like this okay wh whatever we we did it it's, uh, let's see how it uh, looks like now well it's not textured properly but um, it's fine I guess better than nothing okay we, we're not going to dwell on that We'll just attach that to our base and save. Uh, what we have left to do is, uh, well, this enormous hole. Uh, the model is completely uh, <laughs> modeled, but um, it has front faces missing for reasons I have already uh, brought up in my previous videos. Okay, uh, we'll just create a couple of polys over there. Create. And do it counterclockwise. Like this. And uh, we'll try and uh, unwrap this to add a basic texture on that actually uh, you might have noticed as the die uh, that it's mirrored so we'll just create this half yeah uh, okay what what do what do we have here? Well, we have something gray, uh, just like the world model actually. But let's make it as God intended. We'll detach that for ease of use. Oh, I detached as clone, so I just kept one there and. De detach to a separate element as a clone. <laughs> okay. Um, unwrap. 
Oh, let's press my favorite button. It makes a quick planner map. Oh, okay. Uh, we haven't selected any polis. Quick planner map. It's just mm, made it made uh, it's all over our texture now, like this. Uh, check your pattern. No. Digital, yeah. And uh, now we should do something like this 90 degrees, scale it down, move it over here. I guess that's good enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's completely gray. Yeah, okay. Fine, whatever. Uh, we'll collapse that now. We don't want it to interfere with our stuff. Let's clone it. Copy. Mirror. By Z. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Now attach to our shotgun frame. Let's weld it as well what don't uh, so what do we have here we have two one and this is also one so this is gonna be three let's select all smoothing groups invert selection and yeah great perfect very nice okay we have now welded our model for later use uh, for the world model since our uh, attachments are completely modeled including sides uh, pussy ass heartbeat monitors and uh, the flashlight from the M1014. I am. I don't know, but mm, I might have to mirror it to the other side. Uh, okay, I have uh, a bit wrong pivot point over here. Let's move it zero 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 to the base of the gun. Zero 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 zero. And. Uh, align to world so that uh, if say we rotate our stuff uh, to say minus 90 degrees oh it's it affected pivot only it's not what I want I want to rotate the whole thing as you can see it uh, is not connected anymore to our gun we don't want that, we want everything to be uniform, so pivot only to world, everything should be facing the same way. <laughs> yeah, okay, save. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about the heartbeat monitor, uh, if we get a lot of clipping in there, I'm going to remove it. We'll think also about the position of the flashlight. It's gonna be on the right if there is uh, g gonna be a not noticeable cli clipping over there. Okay, also uh, base. Let's attach the main frame of the weapon to base. Now we have magazine, charging handle. Well, I think I did everything I wanted for now. I just smooth the entire model and it's already pretty much textured. Okay. Now we 
going to do the fun part. We're going to find the AA12 animations. Oh god, that that's why I'm getting so many uh, random friend requests lately because it's apparently a super pooper skin. Oh great. Okay, whatever. Uh, AA12. Yeah, Rex. And we are going to download it. And load. I don't know. I've probably done this already. No? No, I haven't, yeah? I have not. Unpack. Okay. Uh, let's go to... I think I have not moved uh, anything from here yet. What 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 is that about? It's this pass. Oh wait. oh yeah, it's um, striker. Striker one over for it too. Cut. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Global walk. Now let's uh we don't need that anymore. Um AA twelve V models. It's for the AK now. But we are going to make it for this past twelve. It's gonna look ugly, senseless and everything, but it's gonna work. I guess okay. Uh, preview. Oh, use in preview. User placement. Let's see what is all of this about. View model mode. Idle. Ninety. No attachment selected. Let's add hands. Steam load weapon. Arms, weapons, arms. Uh, let's see it with coach arms. Normal maps. So, uh, okay, we are not going to dwell on deploy, firing, and what's whatever else animations. We are going to just look what the reload looks like. So, what we want is. Uh, our reload start to be a detachment of the mag reload loop some uh, several frames like well uh, like this that's that's uh, something that we would like not 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 much movement and then reload end which is which can be as long as we want is Magin and Gold Pool. Great. That's what we want. We are going to cut this into three pieces. Alright. Where do we start? We start with uh, our. Oh, what? Ah, we start with. Actually, decompiling this using decompile. Decompile. Oh, we don't want to write anymore. It's 49 anyway. It's ported by much nicer people. And some guy who was afraid that compile kiddos are going to recompile his stuff and make terrible mods. Huh. But we can now, now that Crowbar can uh, decom decompile whatever. Well, except some animations are going to be broken anyway, like uh, LT Rockets uh, Left 4 Dead 1 or Trigger Herds are going to cause crashes if you 
don't know what you're doing. Alright. Let's preview it again. What? Uh, okay. Let's not preview anything. We now want to see one of our the shotguns. Or the shotguns which we just moved elsewhere. No. M10. M. M10. Yeah. Shotguns pass. That's the first thing we want. Let's copy that, and uh, we're not going to uh, import anything in 3ds Max. This time we are just going to do this via QC editing. Yeah. Blink. If we manage to have this without... Uh, actually, let's see about that. Save us. Two, you, twelve. Um, let's import what we have just decompiled. Compile this real fast for the AK and see if we have any clipping issues with. Uh, oh, I'm also going to show you some. Body group magic, I guess. Why not? You see. Um, Packed rifle, okay. We'll uh, export uh, our heartbeat sensor and uh, the flashlight as. Uh, separate body groups so that we can do something about them later combine or remove them easily instead of opening the 3d editor every time we want to change something okay if i remember correctly everything is facing the same way already and uh, scale scaling is reset and everything has its pilot point at zero zero zero. So also scale. Uh, what was Rex used? I think thirty eight, Let's see if that's true for this one. Uh, front, yeah, front. No, something. Nothing's wrong about the scaling. Yeah, it's too small. Scale. Let's make it 40. 40, 40, 40. Huh, still too small? <laughs> yeah, still too small. Now this time it's 42. 42, 42. See if it's 42. No, no, it's too much. 41. It's fun, isn't it? Move. Okay, now it's almost perfect. Okay. We're not going to do pixel hunting, really. That's not much of a difference, it, you will never notice that, and maybe it's even better this way, in some cases. Um, okay, that's good here. It's probably not centered over there. Where can we see stuff going on? There. Okay. 
Yeah, right. Excellent. Now we are done with placing our new reference. Let's hide it for now and save. Uh, what we want to see now it is uh, what bones do we need to use? J bullet? There's no such thing. Index fingers, fingers, reload. Uh -huh. So the base of the folding charging handle, it's a custom charging handle, I guess, is J reload. J reload and it is its folding handle part. We have that separated already. Charger base, charger handle. Uh, this and this. Yeah. Okay. Back to our reference. Reload. Uh, Rex custom bones. Tag clip. It's this, of course. Is uh, does it have? Yeah, it does have an extra bone for the shell. Maybe it's bullet. Yeah, it's that exactly. So our shell is a separate bone. That's cool. All right, good to know. <coughs> <coughs> so clip, of course, it's clip. It's not a magazine, yeah. And tag weapon is everything else. No trigger bones. Why make trigger bones? You you never you almost never see uh, the trigger being pulled and moved, unless well, it's a uh, double action revolver and you cock it and you wanna see the trigger move backwards when you do that like in Half-Life 1 okay okay we know everything we want to know we can just delete it now and then un unhide all let some um, everything that's not moving skin and uh, tag weapon tag weapon mag is two bones I have not separated the shell and we are going to do this another way let's add two bones J bullet and uh, tag clip uh, charger handle is uh, J reload. Oh no, it's not. Re it's reload end, of course. And charger base is reload. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we're done. Oh no, no, we're not done here. Let's hide everything. But our magazine, I have bent uh, feed lips, they were straight it's not really helping but it's better than straight lips really okay whatever uh, edit envelopes uh, let's select uh, all vertices all elements yeah yeah and uh, tag clip well pay to one complete waiting to tag clip J bullet is going to be this one completely as well great now we've done that we can unhide all save and what we're going to do now is uh, well I don't know why but Export. Let's try exporting now. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be rifle AK for a while, and uh, let's rename this group. We don't really care for names in the weapons case. Uh, Warfare two AA twelve base. 
Let's copy that. It's going to be um light. Light uh, left. And the uh, sensor. Sensor. Save. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to try this time to. Well, let's deselect uh, motion tracker and uh, light and export this as base. Not sure this is how it works really. I usually have to delete the elements from my scene and then export because well let's try this. Let's compile. Uh, I have all I have not yet um, exported light and sensor and what el whatever else so let's comment it out for now and compile. And let's see if we have our motion tra it it did yeah uh, there is motion tracker in there ah balls I don't know why I deselected the motion tracker you have seen me deselect the motion tracker okay whatever uh, what we can see now is uh, tons of clipping metric tons of clipping so we are removing the motion tracker uh, excuse me but you won't get a pussy ass heartbeat monitor on your gun <laughs> all right and there's a light as well so uh I have to actually delete it there, delete, delete. Now export. Now we don't have that. We have our base, AirTag, and moving parts. Let's export it as base again. Yeah. Now we can basically remove completely our sensor uncomment the light body group and uh, export the light let's open this again without saving because I just removed the good mm, do not save just remove the good chunk of my stuff yeah we are not going to need anything but our light so we just delete and export light IA12 light left save saved now let's compile we now have our model uh -huh. there is no clipping so we can keep the light on the left uh, if we like it that way hmm. I don't know I don't hate it it's kinda low poly and out there maybe I should really consider moving it to the right uh, Okay, let's try this. Me oh oh mirror mirror. Let's mirror it by yeah by Y. By Y. Uh, what was tag weapon? and export as light right <coughs> a 
let's change that here. Close. Compile. And view the replacement. Well, now we don't see it out there unless we're reloading and stuff. Yeah, it's not in your face anymore. I guess it's better that way. I might have used an NPEG too for a laser sight, but um, I don't really like messing with it again. Uh, I mean, it's uh, not modeled uh, completely. I, I'll have to weld and all of that. So we are keeping the light on the right side so that it doesn't bother, bother us that much. Okay, now it's pretty long already. I probably should cut the video. Haven't done much though. But okay, let's just continue. Let's do this in one video. It may be long, but okay. Uh, Form. Reload. Oh. Why do you have sounds there? You do have sounds there? For testing purposes? Because layer is what you hear and this is not necessary unless you are watching what's happening. Alright. Um. I wanted to see, well, first of all, I wanted to see the my animation cheat sheet again. If we are doing it for this past 12, then it takes half a second for the first shell and, uh, and this many seconds for all else. And however long you like for reload end, because it's not going to interfere with your firing whatsoever. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So from frame zero to frame. Let's make it as far as you can probably get. Oh, it's removed completely off screen at frame 30. And you're starting to grab a new magazine at frame 45. Okay, 90. N no sane man plays at such a high FOV. Oh, 35. Let's, well, let's make it even. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, make sure our uh, sequence uh, order is the same as this past 12. Look poses, idle, row, idle. Uh, animations don't matter. Look poses, idle, row, idle. Names also don't matter, <coughs> but uh, activities do. More on that at a later point. Now our IK has uh, deploy but uh, shotguns uh, have reload animation first. Reload, reload loop, reload end and then deploy. So 
We're basically moving our reload animations over there. Yeah, kind of like this. Uh, copy it several times. Uh, reload, reload layer, reload loop. We'll have to fix the activities as well. Reload loop layer. Reload end. Reload end layer. We are using the same animation SMD, so we are not touching any names in there. Uh, what we are going to do now... Well, let's... Uh, reload loop layer, reload loop, end, and layer. Well, that makes sense, yeah? Does it not? Reload loop layer, reload loop, and an end layer. Okay, now that we end layer, end layer. Now deploy fire. Uh, we, we don't need that anymore. Deploy fire. Melee, and uh, there's nothing else because, well, we don't have any help extend anyway. How, by the way, how do these ones look? They are completely empty, so we might as well remove them. We might as well remove them because, well, why have nothing if we can have nothing, right? Great. Oh god, more particle effects. I, I don't really want to mess with that. Why two muzzle flashes? Zero on one. Because it's a short firing animation probably wanted to be less blending shotgun shell that's correct even though it's an AK <laughs> basically that's a good detail uh, zero over there fire deploy deploy okay now for the fun part <laughs> save Reload is our start of reload. It's from frame 0 to frame. Well, let's say 34. And we just add frames, start, end. Do the same for our layer if we want it to be one and the same. Uh, loop is going to continue from frame 35 to 45 I think well we'll see about that at a later point 35 45 Same here in the layer. We can delete that. We don't need so so much over there. By the way, uh, as you can see, we have only 34 frames, and any and all events that are out of bounds are going to cause a compiling error. So we're g uh, gonna need to remove it. Moving on, we can see that we have only 10 frames over here, but uh, this uh, is no longer um, frame number 64, because that's frame number 0 now, and that's frame uh, 10. So we need to have 
five, let's say five. And uh, the sound is going to be auto shotgun load shell. Boom. Let's let's keep it that way. No, let's make it a little less blendy. Uh, fade out zero. And reload and fade in zero. Remove that. And uh, reload and is frame uh, 46. We, ha we can see our magazine appearing now. To the very end. 46 to oh frames 36 to 107 kinda like that control C control V yeah now we don't need clip out sound then anymore in there what we need now is to remember that this is frame number zero and this should be less, much less than it is now so we just kinda uh, subtract frames from here now it's frame number 18 uh, now it's frame number 37 and that's frame number 44 I guess yeah okay mm -hmm. deploy here yeah, keep it that way except we uh, really want to have uh, Jesus Christ uh, all the shotgun sounds well, that's a past 12, but I think that uh, it doesn't have its... Oh, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. I would have uh, the shotgun pass in there if it did have its own sound. I guess it just doesn't. Um. Alright. So, that's basically it. We're just... Uh, did that let's see if any of this works and how it's going to look in game uh, by the way we're not going to compile the AK anymore we are going to compile shotguns pass shotguns pass yeah uh, and we are going to change placement of our materials kind of like this we are going to uh, take care of that later probably I will do this without you okay we are need that let's compile let's compile it for the shotgun this time and then pass and the uh, Sequence idle, reload layer. This is how the reload stat looks now. He detaches the magazine. The loop looks looks like this. Well, that's not really much we can do about that. And the end looks like the end. That's great, I think. Well, we'll uh, take care of the timing later. All these frames per second and these nutty parts. Uh, what we're gonna do now is um, let's just go to. We have now our testing compile as the AK and our actual compile as this past 12. want that to be 
is some kind of vanilla, no, it's a spas, let's copy that, and it's going to be AA12, 12. <coughs> Change it to else later. We won't have any textures in there, but we are just making for testing purposes. Let's pack our now. I have my game in uh, windowed mode, it's gonna have some desynchronized uh, sound. Otherwise, see. we'll see how the reload looks like in game. We don't really have to wait till. Uh, ah, we no, we don't. Not Tom. Let's see what we just did. Well, we don't have any textures yet, but that's not the, the point. We want to see the animations. Use your imagination. experience is pressing compile a hundred times and uh, opening the tomb tower map shotgun 200 times. shotgun for me okay now we have our shotgun looks like this the jack shotgun shells oh we messed something up did we not uh, I probably shouldn't have left uh, blending at um, zero 01. That's probably why we have it. What's this uh, fade in, fade out? It's uh, uh, how uh, many seconds it blends into the idle animation, and uh, uh, since. Uh, our reload loop is in a different position, in a very different position from the um, uh, idle animation. It's just jumpy bean. Yeah. Let's compile again. Go to. We're not going. We're not even going to. That's why you need to test it in game. Uh, the model viewer doesn't give you the idea of that kind of uh, blending and everything. You have to test it in the game, which is uh, painful to have your game started every time you want to do anything, but that's what you do. Okay, pack again. Pack again. Replace. And restart the game. Okay, this time it's probably going to be better. That's a that's a good thing I messed this up because uh, I take this for granted these days and I wouldn't even uh, bring this up probably I would just forget it like it it's the way it is unless you are very um, pay a lot of attention to what I type all right guns here Let's see it again.
That smell like it. That smell like it. Yeah. That's that's a victory. Now uh reload time notwithstanding we have just converted a rifle animation for a shotgun which I did uh, for uh, things like the Mauser and Springfield for the pump shotguns and uh, use as 12 and now AA12 replace the shotgun because you don't want it to replace the AK you find it senseless yeah you just can't um, fathom the uh, concept of replacing a mag fed weapon with a mag fed weapon uh, you just download a script that makes it fire several pellets instead of one and has have uh, less ammunition and so on and so forth or oh, maybe you're just always playing online, so you have to rely on default scripts. But okay, enough dwelling on that, actually. That's a win. That's that's going to be released soon. It's going to be camouflageable as all else, and I'll... I'll have to think uh, what kind of sounds is this gonna use because we use a case sounds. That's not what I wanted to. All right. So the mod is done, pretty much. Well, it's half done. I haven't uh, touched the world model yet, but since I have everything welded, I just can reuse uh, the view model for the world model. It's not that high poly anyway. And uh, the timing, the textures, it's not going to take a long time. So, yeah. Uh, What's next? What I wanted to do next? Well, I don't think that's gonna be much more interesting than this. Well, we'll see. Uh, I didn't start recording from the very beginning. I mean, I smoothed uh, almost the entire model and made textures already. So, if I encounter some thing. I find interesting I'll start recording right there and tell you about it so uh, yeah see you next video